It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero Wars Central. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about February sneak peeks and teasers. By the way, peaks is spelled incorrectly. That's okay. Uh, before we get into it too far, though, I do want to state that the release dates of some game features described in this article are still unknown. This article is a Hero Wars mobile article. It's going to be the first link in the description box down below. Uh, please let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, let me know how you feel about it. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about it in tonight's live stream. Tonight's live stream is at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, 1.30 a.m. UTC. We're going to talk about all this uh, more in depth as well as the uh, the upcoming uh, Facebook and web event. So pretty exciting stuff there. So um, just about two hours ago on Hero Wars Mobile on Facebook, they published this as well as a link to the article over here on the right side under my under my beautiful face. Um, and you can see this, and this is a teaser image for the uh, uh, the Titan artifact mechanic that's coming to the game. Uh, Celestial City stuff, and we'll talk about it a little bit more in depth. And, and I didn't want to spend too much time talking about that because we really don't know much more beyond what the article states. However, I want to take a second to look at this Hydra. And it is a Hydra. They mentioned that it's a Hydra in several, uh, in several um, sentences in the article. But you can clearly see a fire-based Hydra, a water-based Hydra, and an earth-based Hydra right here. But you also have some kind of purplish Hydra and a yellow sunlight-based Hydra, as well as, I don't know, I mean, this this looks a little bit like uh, Lucas's, for Master and Lucas, uh, uh, Lucas's spines. So you have, you have quite clearly three Hydra heads representing the three primal elements of Hero Wars, water, earth, and fire. But what are these other three? Just want to point that out. We don't know anything. There's not three new Titan elements coming. But what if there was? Mm. <laughs> On to the article. So, uh, under development, Celestial Cities got future changes. Basically, uh, the artifact system for Titans isn't going to be the same artifact system as for Facebook and web. We don't know. We don't know. I can tell you that this this image right here uh, does, it looks similar to the, 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 uh, the Titan artifacts you know, plus totems layout on Facebook and web, but it's it's much different thematically. It's a lot darker. This castle's here. There's no totem summoning thing, uh, but you have, you know, you have some similar objects floating around here. I don't know if it's just moved around or what. Definitely gonna have a vendor right here. Obviously gonna have a vendor. Uh, as soon as we have more details, we'll be sure to share them with you. In the meantime, tell us what you think of this new game mode. Yeah, guys, I know, I know universally, <laughs> just about universally, nobody wants Titan artifacts on Hero Wars Mobile, but... Uh, if you have a if you have a point of view that you'd like to share, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, we have two hero updates teased here. First of all, Judge, and I'm not sure why they didn't put Cornelius here as well, uh, but Judge is a hero that has been kind of left behind. Uh, all of the other lower end, lower tier strength heroes have been improved. We're talking about you know Ginger and uh, you know others. Um, <laughs> but Judge is getting some new skills and a little bit of revamp. Uh, just scroll down here to Cornelius. Uh, Cornelius is getting a hero revamp as well. His skills are staying the same. He's just going to be doing more damage. We've got these uh, General's Commands being added, which is a pretty exciting quality of life update coming to Hero Wars Mobile. Basically, what this is going to allow you to do is your, your Guild Generals are going to be able to assign targets in guild wars and you can see here the last line says that it will not be added to cross server guild tournament just yet uh, or it's not uh, for the time being it's only added to the guild wars that's implying that it will be eventually added to the cross server guild tournament but uh, i know that a lot of hero wars mobile players use discord or facebook message or whatsapp or you know whatever tool that they can to communicate uh, um, uh, assigned targets to attack there in guild wars but this is a huge quality of life update. And just, you know, I've, I've had on screen here for a couple of seconds now what a, a screenshot of what the Hero Wars uh, Facebook and web Guild War screen looks like. You can see the two little red icons. Those are the attacks that my Guild General has assigned me for today's Guild Wars. And I'll, you know, I'll make those attacks here in just a second. But I wanted to take a screenshot to show you this awesome quality of life change that's being implemented. I'd love to see more quality of life changes added like this, um, such as you know, max level testing. Um, we have new skins, Valentine's Day and Chinese New Year. You have romantic skins and lunar skins coming. So six guardians are getting skins. Uh, I, I don't believe it's saying that six is getting both. I believe it's three getting romantic and three getting lunar skins. 
If I would have to guess, I would say that Anvari here is getting the romantic skin because the last skin that he got was the winter skin. It seems to be uh, like a nice contrast. Um, and the reason why I say that is because Martha got a winter skin and then she got a solar skin. So it was like polar opposites. And that's that's just that's just a guess, no idea. And then I would say that uh, Celeste here is gonna get a lunar skin just based on her little headgear. Uh, currently, she's got an intelligent skin, a um, magic attack, and a magic defense skin. I have no idea what kind of skin she get. Maybe maybe magic penetration would be would be overpowered, honestly. But that would be that would be kind of cool. We're going to talk about this more in detail as soon as Load Runner gets us some more information. Pretty excited about that. And then finally, the advisor chat change uh, is coming. I, you know, if you're VIP ten or plus, then this is important to you. If you're not a VIP or if you're not a pay to win player, then um, this is going to be less important to you, but we're always making sure that your adventures in Dominion are exciting and trouble-free. With the next update, Advisor Chat for VIP 10 Plus players will change its format so that you can create inquiries with the highest priority. That improvement will allow you to get responses to your inquiries even faster. Uh, basically, what this is saying, guys, is is um, hopefully, hopefully, we're going to see a fix to their slow response time whenever you uh, send in uh, a support ticket. Now, uh, I did take a look at this image and I, and I really wanted to pay closer attention to this image. One thing that I was hoping to see here that we don't see, uh, you have the guild announcements, the training, you still have all of this, um, but what you don't see, you don't see the, um, uh, you don't see private messages, which is something that I was hoping that they were gonna add. And let's see, let me just compare it with, with the other chat. Yeah, that's that's the, really the main thing that I was hoping to see here is the is the, uh, is the private messaging. Still, still no private messaging yet on mobile. That's definitely a quality of life improvement that I would like to see added. Uh, but then down here, you, you finally it kind of wraps it up with some various change and fixes. There's a couple of bugs that have been uh, submitted for help tickets a couple of times. I know everybody knows about the Galahad running off the screen bug, but there's a couple more graphical things like that that need to be changed. Uh, so we'll see some, looks like combat system bugs, uh, other details coming at the end of February. So we'll get another post probably when that event or that uh, that update goes live. So um, guys, uh, just just another quick reminder is, is you know, I don't know anything beyond this article. Um, I made this video just for the sake of promoting uh, the news in case you haven't seen it yet. Maybe you pay attention to YouTube more than Facebook. Maybe you don't even have Facebook as a Hero Wars mobile player. Uh, but I also wanted to say that, you know, we are going to be live streaming tonight um, in just about seven and a half hours from the time this video goes live. 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. 1.30 a.m. UTC. Uh, I hope to see you guys there. I love you all.